What is up guys, AshBFC here, welcoming you back to Yakuza, so it's finally time to start Chapter 5, here we go. Purgatory. Alright. So, Yumi's little sister Mizuki runs that bar Ares. It's a good bet they're in this together. And Haruka is her daughter. Even after Yumi went missing, she'd go visit the girl from time to time. Uh-huh. Sorry to bother you, Kazuma. Can you get that? Oh, and be polite. Hello, Serena. Um, Anaki. Is that you? Shinji? I'm glad I got a hold of you. I've been trying so hard to reach you. Sorry. So, what's going on? Actually, right now, I'm on the run with Fuma Oyabun. What? After he was shot, I took him to the hospital, but he's still unconscious. Anaki, from what I can figure out, it looks like the Tojo clan put the hit on Oyabun. If they find out where he is, they'll definitely try again. Where are you right now? I've still got men setting up a safe house for us. I'll get back to you once we're safe. Contact you at Serena? Nah, I gotta sell. Okay, right. What's Rennie got to say? So, Fumasan is alive. What a relief. Hey. Kazuma, do you have any leads? No, nothing. I'll go out and gather some info. That doesn't sound too efficient. Okay, we better go talk to the famous informant. You mean, the legendary informant? Yeah, so you know about him? Kage of Purgatory, the informant that supposedly knows all. Well, he's inside a park. You mean West Park? Yeah. But the nickname is Purgatory, the place is home to thousands of bums. He's somewhere inside Purgatory. But be careful, that place is dangerous, even for cops. Once you go in, you might never be able to get out. I have no other choice but to go. I have no time to lose. Detective Date, can you take care of Haruka? Yeah. This isn't exactly the safest place, but I'll take care of her. Alright. Let's head on out. Go to Purgatory. Let's be lazy. I'll take the elevator. <laughs> You've got the steps are right to the side. Right, there is some um, side missions, five side missions in this chapter, but I won't be doing any right now. But what I do want to do is head into Popo. And I'm just going to buy some food. Uh, I'm a cheapskate, so I'm going to go with, uh, we'll just go with a club sandwich. It's part of a, uh, a quest, uh, a side quest, that, um, that you can miss. So this will start it, but I'll finish it next time. Right, so it's all the way off to uh, Purgatory. Or West Park. Whichever you want to call it. Head up the next street. Oh, and as you probably realized, it is daylight. It's been night the last, uh, few vids on it. Makes a nice change. You can see better. Okay, nearly there. Alright, now there should be a little kid. Somewhere around here. Where is he? There he is. Alright, I told this little kid. What's the matter? 
Oh, can you hear my stomach growling? It's so embarrassing. You must be starving. Yeah. Okay. That's why I got this sandwich. Let's give him that. Let me give you something. What, really? Thank you, mister. Alright. I was so hungry. Thank you so much, mister. Now, that should have... Um, yeah, this is initiated the mission at Doctor's Duty. Uh, if you head into Purgatory before speaking to that boy, it's gone forever. I know that for a fact, so... Incredibly easy to miss right there. Right, let's head in. This old looking shithole with these guys hey you didn't you read the sign it says do not use didn't you see it no better pay attention hmm well actually there is a sign here we have a look it says do not use it's written brilliantly with a brush on a worn out piece of paper let's talk to these guys again hey you didn't you read the sign <laughs> it says do not use didn't you see it I did see it this time so you don't care what happens to you. Uh oh. Angry bums. Get the fuck out of here! We don't need no Yakuza! You deaf fuck off! Aren't public restrooms open to everyone? Motherfucker! Yes? Yes? That's correct. I understand. Okay, let him through. This way. Follow me, Kazuma-san. So, you know my name already. Welcome to Purgatory, Kazuma-san. Damn, hobo's packing heat. So before I head down to Purgatory, I can actually do the next bit of the uh, the mission I started. In, uh, yeah, I started in Chapter Four, I think. Uh, the um, quid pro uh, what's it called? Quid pro quo that I started. You know when I got that? The last item I got was the uh, that super strong adhesive tape. And where's the guy that wants it? I always forget where he is. Actually, is there a coin locker here? Yeah, there is. I'll grab that. That was... What number was that? I pressed the button too quick. Uh, damn it, where's that guy? Is he at the bottom here? Oh, God damn it. He might be on this side. Well, then again, he might not be. Oh, there's another locker key there. I saw something flash. That was number 15, I read that one. God damn it, where's this guy? Oh, here he is! What's the matter? Oh, I rebuilt a shack. But I might have got the wrong measurements. It's shaky. It will collapse any minute. I wonder if there is anything to reinforce it. I got just a thing, buddy! I got some super strong adhesive tape. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Let's hand that over. Oh! Where'd you get this? This is the adhesive tape. The company I used to work for had been trying to develop. It's an old story now. You could build a house only with the adhesive tape. We used to work like dogs to develop that kind of next generation tape. So, it has been developed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to return a favor. How about this one? We've got the silver briefcase. Huh? What's this? 
I found it somewhere. I don't know what's inside, though. To return the favor to you, this is the only item I have. Please take it. Okay. Right, and I'll hand that over to the guy that needs it. Probably in the next uh, part. I think that should finish that uh, mission as well. Anyway, down into purgatory. Alright, it's like a little underground uh, city. Oh, spot a coin lock key there. Number one. Alright. There's nothing else you can do down here for the time being. So I just want to head right to the end. I think there's a locker key on this bridge. Yeah, I just saw it flash then. Number 14. All right. Speak to this woman. You must be Kazuma's son. I've been expecting you. Come in. Go to the building at the end. Where is this place? Hey, this is purgatory. There is nothing Kage doesn't know. A legendary informant, huh? All right. Well, let's see this legendary informant. See if he really does know all. Kazuma Kiryu, you don't waste any time, right out of the pen and straight into a ruckus. I take it, you're Kage. What do you want to know? I want details on the 10 billion yen stolen from the Tojo clan, and also on two sisters, Yumi and Mizuki. Some cash might help jog my memory. How much is it going to take? <laughs> that kind of information costs. I have men set up everywhere. The color of the hostess's panties. Shady deals. Unsolved murders. Eventually it all gets back to me. I piece it together like a grimy jigsaw puzzle, then provide the precise details requested by my clients. That's why the information I provide is so expensive, get it? I don't have the money now, but I don't have any time either. Oh, I know. Hey. Wait. Ten years ago, the name Dragon of Dojima was very formidable. I hate the fucking Yakuza to death. Still, informants tend to be voyeurs. It's our fucking hobby. So I'm really intrigued to see how you're gonna try to fuck the entire Tojo clan. So you're... Still, I am a businessman, so I can't set a bad example by just giving you information. I try to be fair, see? So? I got work for you. Work that only the dragon of Dojima could do. Exactly. Our customers are rich bastards with too much money, and freaks who get off on blood and violence. The fighters can either kill or be killed. So this is... purgatory? And death's door is just around the corner. So what is this work that only I can do? You have to win three matches in a row. If you can do that, then you will have earned your information, Kazuma. Alright, we're gonna fight. Right, now, these can be pretty tricky. You're not allowed any items. You can't heal up during the fights. So you've got to do three in a row. But you do, it does heal you in between fights. So, listen, Kazma. I want you to fight against three men in a row in that ring ahead. No weapons or equipment. Other than that, 
Get as crazy as you want. I want you to fight some tough guys. There will be a large sum of money in it for you. You have to prove to me that you accomplished your assignment by defeating all three of these men. Do you understand? I get it. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. Yes. I hope you can get the crowd cheering. Later. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest today. Ten years ago, this man, known as the Dragon of Dojima, killed his own boss in cold blood. He's an honorless Yakuza straight out of prison. Kazuma Kiryu! And in the other corner with two wins, a fugitive from the United States. He's wanted for first degree murder, Daniel Feldman! As always, there is no time limit and no rules! Alright, first fight, Daniel Feldman. He looks like a normal sized big show. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Alright, one of the tricks to surviving these is dodging. Like, get the hell out the way. You know, don't get crazy aggressive and just go for it. Run up on your arse. Oh god. It chopped me. You yeah, sort of wait for him to do the combo, then go in for it, then get out of there. Oh god. Try to give me a flying splash. None of that mini big show. It's a small show. Okay. Yeah, this guy ain't too bad, actually. So I can, yep, yeah, oh no. Can I grab him? Come on. No, it's not letting me grab him. I want to see if I could do a heat against him on the cage. That might have even finished him. Well, not. Oh god, here we go. Big swing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh god, he caught me that time. Man. Oh, you're going to drop kick me there, weren't he? Definitely got a wrestling style, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, what? I was. I was. How did he connect with that? Damn it. Oh, double stomp. That's kind of going a bit downhill now, isn't it? Maybe he actually can't grab this guy. Oh, come on, I was out of the way of him again. Oh, just give me a freaking elbow drop. At least we're going to see some cool moves against me. Think of the positive. Oh, well, I've nearly got him. Not the performance I would have liked, since he's the easiest one. It doesn't look good for the next two, does it? But as I said, it will have fully healed me now, so... The winner is Kazuma Kiryu! Proving that he is indeed a true gangster! And now, for the next match, the ex-middleweight world champion of Muay Thai, Taekwon Plavuk! Can Kazuma Kiryu defeat an entirely different fighting style? You can cut the tension in here with a knife. Now, fight! Alright, this guy's pretty quick. He's got this fly knee he likes to do. He likes to get you in a tie clinch as well and give you some knees. Again, you want to get the hell out of the way. Damn it! Oh god, went for a head kick. God damn it. Broke me nose. Wrong way. Oh my god. I can see myself raging for this part. Jesus Christ. Come on, with a. God damn this fighting system and its lack of a lock on. This moves out the damn way all the time. And then. Ugh! Gonna throw my controller right into someone's face. Oh my god. Which is a little bit more like it. I usually like 
for it when he does the flying knee and then I get out of the way and counter. That's usually how I beat him. But he's... Oh, there we go. You see, like this. Keep this up. Don't keep that up. Oh yeah, elbow. Pretty sure this guy can be grabbed. Didn't do it then, but ow! It's probably best not grabbing him, I guess. There we go, more of that. See, it's hard to get the full combo on him because he always moves. Elbow again. Yeah, uppercut. That's the one. Oh, come on! Did you see that? I was nowhere near him. There we go. Full combo again. Can I grab him? Oh, yeah. That's right. Now probably the hardest one. Unbelievable! Our special guest cannot be stopped! Well, here we go! It seems that the next challenger has just been decided! We have a special surprise! Our champion has returned! For the past three years, this true warrior has been undefeated! Coming to you from the underground fighting pits of Las Vegas, Gary Buster Holmes! So, we meet again. Bet you wasn't expecting me, Cosmo san You gonna squeal like a bitch, motherfucker. Let me ask you something. Do you even listen to yourself when you open your mouth? Undefeated gangster versus undefeated pit fighter! This is the fight of the century! Now, fight! Okay. This guy sucks. He's really annoying. Like, ugh. There's this big, like, giant smash he tries to do there. And also, if he knocks you down, he likes to do a double stomp. So, damn, he likes to do some ground and pound. Smash your face up. He's also got this combo he does and finish off an uppercut that's hard to avoid. Couldn't even see where we're coming from then. Yeah, it's not always a good idea to go for a full combo because he'll get you. Now let's uh... come on. Oh, I got a full combo there. I think when he does that jump, I think if you can catch him with a kick, you can floor him. But it's risky because if you don't connect, then he's gonna. You know, knock you down. This ain't going too bad. It's probably your best chance to get him once he's done his jump. Nope. Okay. Oh, I hate this. I'm oh, come on. That's his combo there. No, I don't think I'm going to do this. Would you believe me I told you I owned all three guys in my practice run? You won't, would you? Like I'm a line sack of crap. <laughs> I'm not lying. It's true. Come on, attack. Camera! Off the damn battle can be with the camera, can't it? I need to see where he's coming from. You missed me there, buddy. Come on. Come on! Oh, get the hell out of here! Again, I couldn't see where he were! Nah, there's no chance I'm doing this. Freaking retarded. Get the hell up! Are you kidding me? Nearly got him. 
Really? Oh. How close was that? It was like one punch from either of us and that would have been it. Good for that. It was terrible. Unfucking believable! The gangster did it! He has defeated the invincible Buster Holmes! Standing before me is the new champion! Now for your part of the deal. Relax. I'm a man of my word. I told you, I play fair. Man, that was a piss poor performance. That was embarrassing. It's probably the worst I've ever done in that. Anyway, I got through it. So uh, I'm going to end this one here. Next time we'll find out what this guy actually knows. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Oh Jesus, I've got heartburn.